Hi lads and lasses, Modest Pelican here with a video on the 9 types of Grand Theft Auto players as voted by some of you legends in my most recent Twitter poll. You might be thinking, hey Pelican you dodgy bird, this game released in 2013, you're a little bit late mate. Well you're right, but as I mentioned it was voted for by the people and thus proves how broken democracy really is. Honestly all countries should just have one supreme dictator who calls the shots and if necessary, commits mass genocide. Anyway, if you enjoy this video, please paint the Modest Pelican logo on the side of a horse and then let that horse run wild and free through the city, as this really helps spread the good word of my channel. So first up is the Mario Kart Malacca, who plays GTA 5 purely so he can drive cars and flex his superior handling skills. Rainbow Road, more like Concrete Road, Anyway, speaking of Mario, he is literally the biggest cuck in the world. Princess Peach has been captured by Bowser like a thousand times. I think it's pretty clear she isn't being captured and that the princess simply loves herself some of that angry turtle D. The role player enjoys immersing themselves into Grand Theft Auto as if it were real life. I mean, why would you fly planes, rob banks and get into epic police shootouts when you and your friends can pretend to be each other's limousine drivers and create around at the speed limit. Nothing says fun like bringing the real world limitations we use video games to escape from back into the video game. Now that's an 1000 IQ play. The terrorist is the player who makes it his mission to grief other players. So my mate Crosby and I were in a server getting continuously shot up so we came up with a genius plan. First we dressed appropriately, taking a lot of inspiration from a group best known as ISIS. We then grabbed a generic looking SUV and paid $12,000 to have our player icons temporarily removed so we weren't visible on the map. We then proceeded to roll around pretending to be an NPC vehicle but would then jump out of the car and shoot unsuspecting players which we both found highly amusing. The police officer drives around Los Santos doing his best to keep some law and order in the city. Quite a difficult task as this game encourages crime. In fact, that's all there really is to do, but at least their hearts are in the right place I guess. If you want to be a cop in real life but can't be bothered getting fit, studying or trying, then this could be the job for you. Sure, you will have literally no official authority and will mostly just be dealing with 12 year old boys who claim to have to your entire family, but you're still a cop in my eyes. The helpless new player. Starting Grand Theft Auto Online in 2019 is rough, and I know from personal experience. You're out there happy that you just upgraded your extended mag for your micro Uzi, and then suddenly big boy Billy22 has blown you up with a heat seeking missile fired from his flying motorbike. Like literally everyone has a flying motorbike with missiles except for you. If you can get through this early stage, then you can get through absolutely anything. Well, except for No Nut November, but almost anything. The guy playing as a girl. It seems so risky putting these topics into videos now with society being as woke as it is, and of course I think people should identify as whatever gender they bloody like, but we all know there's a bunch of 50 year old dudes out there all fapping to their female Grand Theft Auto characters. The Pelican Institute of Simulated Academia actually did a study, and apparently 90% of female characters are just middle aged dudes fapping, the more you know. Of course then there's the girls who play as male characters. Now this is most likely because every time a group of male gamers realise they're playing with a woman, they begin to shriek, cry and demand nude photos. It's so stupid and cringeworthy that so many guys do this. Obviously, if you want a girl gamer to send you nude photos, you spam them with game invites until they join your Minecraft server, and then you show them how you manage to construct a huge replica of your penis using diamond ore. It's called class. The Kingpin is the big source of Los Santos. This guy has millions, cars, nightclubs, businesses, probably a couple of yachts. I was actually pretty happy to finally get my own yacht. It's so impressive, I finally made it. Nah just kidding, I just stole a jet ski and snuck onto someone else's yacht without them knowing, but just like my girlfriend always says,
says, Sometimes you've got to fake it to avoid embarrassing the person you're having sex with. Wait, god damn it. The bush bumpkin is the guy who doesn't go anywhere near the city and prefers to hang out in the countryside. With the beautiful fresh air, the simple life, and of course the social normality of other bush bumpkin players not judging them for the fact that they are happily married to their first cousin in real life, but I mean at least you don't get attacked by jets so much out here, so it makes loving your inbred kids that little bit easier. Anyway, I've got a Hitman episode coming on Sunday. Otherwise, have a great weekend, you absolute bloody legends. Thanks for watching and a huge thanks to my patrons. Until next time, and as always, stay classy.